to go back and take his kick, uh, Doug Cox. Saints haven't scored a goal so far in this term. They've added only two behinds. Carlton have kicked five goals and they're playing pretty good football. Knocked away by Duell. They're going through his men, but he didn't have the ball. English looks for Howe. Bad hand pass. Roberts is caught. Was it too high? Now holding the ball, says umpire Kevin Smith. He was caught correctly first, and that will be a free kick taken by Big Wow Jones. It wasn't Roberts, actually. It was Thomas, I think, that was uh, tackled then. McConville, check a half forward. Mark Hugh has a chance. Didn't bounce too well for him. In comes Austin up from the back line. Knocked away by Milton Hall for some kill. The Saints battling it out hard. England, or sharp it was. Milton Hall again. Comes back towards Meehan. Now the Saints are on the move. Meehan, oh, dummies well. Gets around duels superbly. Fires it up towards Fomedic. He's too slow and caught beautifully by Jones and will be free kick for holding the ball. Bad play on the part of Meehan that time after doing good work. Should have gone for the long kick. The other bloke was under pressure all the way as we see the ball picked up now by Jones. Carlton looking a lot better. Cunningham couldn't hold the mark. He goes after it again. Alphingston's there. He comes out of the pack. He played a darn good game down there. The ball shot across the centre half forward. Going out to meet it was Jezelenko. Ball tucked away that time by Perovic. Out wide. Perovic showing a lot of pace. Goes after it again. He's grabbed by Satori. Virtually got one in the back that time. Back it comes to Satori again. Malin's there for Carlton. Oh, good play by Carlton's English that time. On Southfield was. And the umpire said it's a free kick. Got into the back of Satori. He'll take the free kick out there at half back. They've played about uh, 12 and a half minutes of this second quarter. And Carlton in front at the moment by eight points. Out it goes towards Big Herbert. He goes for the punch. The ball tucked to the ground, but the umpire set a free kick. The Val Perling is doing a very good job at centre-half back. I think the only thing that's letting him down is his kicking. There's another high one. Talking about a high ball, you only need an Oliver. That you've got the perfect Martini. The ball finally coming down to Howe. Gets one in the back and a free kick to Howe. So Gilda making foolish mistakes at the moment. Chance for Howe to send uh, Carlton deep into attack. He's up right on the edge of the square, round about the centre half forward position. No, he's not. He's got a 15 metre penalty now. Another silly mistake by St Kilda. Well, he'll go right over the centre half forward position. We can even kick this golf in this position because he's a pretty good kick, this young fellow. Goes for a short pass. Not a good one and a mark taken there by Cox. Cox with the ball down there in the back pocket position for uh, St Kilda. St Kilda still hanging in there, but not playing as well as they did in the first quarter. Now it goes towards Sharp. And Sharp uh, has got the mark. Even though the umpire, well, he thought so. The crowd, St Gilda crowd, didn't think so. So the free kick, or the mark to go to uh, Sharp out there at half forward, about 50 metres out from goal. Sharp boots the ball long into the goal square. Fitzpatrick at the back. Kellett in front. Over the top of the pack and it's through for a point. Carlton move on to five goals, 5.35 to St Gilda, 3.8.26. And we're right on the 15-minute mark of the second quarter. St Kilda still to score a goal this term. Saru and Jones. Jones with the fist gets it down towards the pocket again. Caught with the ball is Fiddler. Marku looking for the free kick and he will get it too. Marku came out wearing Guernsey number 60 today. He stood at attention for the Anzac Day ceremony prior to the match in Guernsey 60 and then took it off. I don't know what the idea that was for. Keep himself warm probably. He's got a free kick in the forward pocket. Across the face of goals it goes. There's two carbon players there, but it's out of bounds, not on the full, and the throw in right next to the point post. 16 minutes gone in the second quarter, seventh big league from Moorabbin. Knocked uh, down by Fitzpatrick as Orson Kilda down there. Oh, that was a bad one by Nettlefold. He's still got a second chance though to redeem himself, and he will. He's going for a run across the half back line. Well, you'll have to kick it now. He's probably running full 10 metres. It's a bad hand ball. Now they're in trouble. Why didn't he kick it? Bull. A flying doormat. Back towards full forward. Knocked away from the convoy. Here's Fiddler backing up well for St Kilda. They've gone handball mad, the Saints, at the moment. It is not doing them a bit of good. Barry Breen coming on for St Kilda. McConville will have a snapshot for goal. And he has put it out of bounds on the full. That will be a free kick. And Herbert coming off for St Kilda. And Bobby Breen will have a little bit of experience on the back line if he goes down there. They certainly need it at the moment. A few foolish free kicks being given away. As Keller takes the free kick, it goes towards the half back line. A chance is to Roberts out there. Ashman's in the thick of things as well, but it's over the boundary line in front of that pair, and we'll see it thrown into play. Probably they've put Breen down there to get some marking power because no one can take a mark down there up full forward, uh, Peter. Well, he'll be an asset wherever he's played, Lou, I think. If he doesn't chip over his beard. 
Knocked down by Jeff Saru. Austin sharking it well. In the goal square is Marku and Fiddler, but it has gone through for behind. And that takes the Carlton total now to five goals, 6.36, leading St Kilda by 10 points, 3.8.26. 17 minutes gone of the uh, second quarter, and St Kilda playing nowhere near as good as they did that first quarter. Then again, Carlton are playing pretty solid football. Out it goes towards uh, Barker. He's got the shot on, uh, on Wells. The ball dropped back to Satori, misread the bounce, picked up by Austin. Always a safe play, goes for a short pass, and he finds Aspen. He got one right behind the ear that time for Milton. And particularly down there in defence, many foolish hand passes. Saru and Fitzpatrick for the knockout. Knocked out by Saru, grabbed by Whitten. On the ball back there towards Wells. He got his foot in the way, couldn't pick it up. Roberts has grabbed, he goes to the ground. The umpire said, hold the ball. Well, they've uh, really faded out the picture. He's starting to make mistakes too as the kick goes across there towards Sharp and he grabs an easy mark. Morgan Hall had no hope of that one and, uh, of course, Sharp has a chance to score his first goal from about 45 metres out from goal directly in front. At the moment, it's been all goal. And whenever St Gilda have gone into attack this quarter, uh, they haven't had any marking power down there. That's the reason why they probably put Breen. The kick by uh, Sharp is quite good and true for full points. So Carlton move on to seven goals, seven, six, that's right, six goals, seven, isn't it? 43 points, leading right. St Gilda. Quarter. In fact, the goal hasn't been scored at the South Road Inn. Ball up, says umpire Robinson. Frank's in, I should say. Saru and Fitzpatrick. Knocked down to Jessalinko. He looks as though he's having a run on the ball. It goes to St Kilda's half-forward line, but there's Malin chipping in to take the ball away. Green won't catch him, and Malin drives it wide towards the outer side. Jeff Dunn is there. He's been a real trial for the Saints so far. Oh. The ball is kept in play. Roberts has the chance. Southby a long way from goals to Ashton, who's caught immediately. Malin again to Fitzpatrick. Carlton doing it with consummate ease at the moment towards the right half forward flank. Howell is there. Knocks it on cleverly. McConville should pick it up, but runs straight into Duck Cox, and that didn't help him at all. He got grabbed too high. I don't know about it. He grabbed him around the neck uh, in a lover's uh, hug, Peter. That's right. Might have been you in your heyday. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yesterday. The Conville tries the short pass. He's looking for Wow Jones, but Jones couldn't take the mark. But it was certainly well delivered. Knock on by Bazusto. Another chance down there for either McConville or uh, Marku. Tries it over the top to Sharp. Can he make it another one? Turns around, spins it at the goals, and has put it through for his second in the space of two and a half minutes the second quarter. Set about. Saru gets the tap down, but not a good one. Back it comes here now to Milden Hall. A long hand pass, but a bad one to Thomas. Now Whitmer bounced on the ball, a running shot for goal. And uh, a little bit of uh, relief for St Kilda went through for a point. So at 7 8 50, uh, Carl to St Kilda 3 8 26. Yet to score a goal in this quarter. So that breeze may be a bit stronger than we anticipated. And of course, that three goals uh, they kicked in the first quarter wasn't enough for the Saints. Out it goes to Barker, got the sit here. Oh, well, Steve dropped an easy one that time. And Wells has got it on the boundary line, gets a hurried kick back there towards the forward pocket. In front of Jones, ball tapped out by Kellett, comes down here to Cox, but little Marcus too quick for him. Snapshot for goal, but it's off target and through. I do, what he's doing down the forward line, gets a hand pass back to uh, Austin. They've all gone down there. They're all trying to get a kick because it certainly hasn't been down there in Bozastale's grab. Well, Sharp and was picked up by Jezelinko. Out there towards Roberts and Digby's both having a great ding-dong battle there as we see Roberts go out to get the front fuzzy. He's grabbed to get a free kick for sure. Well played by young Roberts that time. Roberts gets a left footer up there towards uh, Breen coming out. That's a uh, ball punched away by Southby. Knocked to the ground. Grabbed by Martin. He's grabbed by Jezelinko. Picked up by Saru. And can he run around in circles? He's in trouble again. Back it goes there uh, to uh, Lotz. He's kicking smothered. Back to uh, Nettlefold. Another hand pass back. A chance for Cunningham to kick a goal from here. He fires, and that's the goal, is it? First goal. Yes, the, the first goal of the quarter. This was a Kilda crowd going mad. And boy, did they make hard work of it. On seven big leagues from Kilda now. 4 8 32. Trailing Carlton 7 9. Towards Howell for Carlton. Howell with a long kick in towards the forward pocket it goes. McConville racing for it, won't get there. And it's over the boundary line in front of Doug Cox from the Blues forward pocket. Just into the time on period of the second quarter. 
25 minutes gone. Jones takes it easily, spins out of the pack well, shoots it high again, it's play on, it didn't cover 10 metres. Knocked down by Fiddler and taken away by Barker, the two of the Bond Brigade at St Kilda, getting it up towards centre field where Loft is there. And it will be a free kick for St Kilda. You don't need me to tell you that, listen to the crowd. There's about uh, five St Kilda supporters for one Carlton here today, and that could be a 15 metre penalty, no. Loft goes wide towards right half forward bank, looking for Green or Roberts. Neither can take the mark. Nettlefold comes in and then some sort of assistance. Southby's there for Carlton, picks it up, but the umpire has blown the whistle for a ball up. About 45 to 50 metres out from the St Kilda goal. Saru, hardly been off the ball so far with Fitzpatrick. Knocked away by Nettlefold, down towards English, calling for it as Marku, but he decides to kick it long. With the no-man's territory, Thomas couldn't uh, get a favourable bounce there. In comes Cunningham, coming into his own at the moment. Caught, that's been St Kilda's falling down. They're taking too long to get rid of the ball. Sartori, in the meantime, gets it over to Thomas, who tries a short pass. Tipping in beautifully was Dool. But... Scoops the ball along, taps it along there, looking for Aspen. Finally picked up by Fiddler. Fiddler goes for a short pass out wide towards Paletti, but there's Bruce Bill. And what a player this guy is under pressure. He's a marvel, the flying door. About a 15 metre penalty. I see they've just had a few of those today. Well, uh, St Kilda have been infringed from that time they work up to it. They should try and read the umpire's mind. That's quite obvious they're going to be down on these today, the 15 metre penalties. Oh, getting up high was Jones. Couldn't hold the mark. Marlon getting through the pack beautifully. A hand pass to Howe. But the big fella can't bend down now. He's got to throw away. And finally comes back to Cox. In all the trouble about the place, but finally picks it up. A kick out to work the wing position. Bill and Jezzelinko. Knocked away by Jezza. Picked up by Fitzpatrick. Knocked away by Hunter. Picked up by Poletic. And the ball is out of bounds on the centre wing position. We're at the 29-minute uh, mark of the last quarter. Uh, second quarter, I should say. Yeah, yeah. The way I feel, I could knock up tomorrow. Now, <laughs> the ball coming down to Malin. A hand pass out to Marku. Marku goes for a short pass. Scooped up nicely by Wells, a hand pass back to Marku, backing up beautifully, goes for a long shot towards the goals. But the Little Rovers off target, it's through for another point. Eight goals, 11-59, Carlton, St Gilda, 4-8-32. And we're approaching the 29 and a half minute mark of this, the second quarter. 27 points the difference, seventh big league, second quarter action from Moravan. Mark taken by Roberts, and that's got to be a 15 minute penalty as well. Not that it's going to make much difference down there. He got two, I think, there, but Roberts plays on anyway to get the ball moving quickly. Thomas, oh, too slow, too slow to get rid of the ball, holding the ball. Got to be. Well, that's been St Kilda's failing. They're, they're just a little bit too slow to get rid of the ball. A bit of busting going on there between Hal and uh, Thomas. Well, still going on. About 30 and a half minutes gone, the set of outs. Once again, it's Fitzpatrick against Saru. This time Saru got it out. He's got a push in the back and Saru will take the free kick. He'll go to Roberts with the Saru it's going to. Young Roberts is going back for the free kick. Finally the ball is kicked over centre half forward by Saru. Falls a bit short. Ball comes to the ground. Has a chance for me to get clear but he's too slow. Hunter pounces on the ball. Finally it comes out to Kelly. He can't get clear. Going after this Hunter again. He's a real tiger that guy. The ball pushed out now towards Saru. He'll never pick it up. Going down as uh, Nettlefold. The umpire said he was grabbed, didn't have the ball, and a chance to send them deep into attack again. Oh, he's in a bit of trouble. He better kick it. He's gone, but a hand pass coming over to Jeff Saru, and Kelly oh. ran into trouble. The bloke grabbed him by the oh. foot, and the umpire missed it. Kicked away by Sharp. And finally, a good mark taken there by Cunningham at centre half forward. There's the siren for the end of the quarter, and Cunningham's going to have a kick. No chance of doing that. So at half time, we see Carlton with a.